Hi everybody, welcome back to the closet. I don't know why I keep doing that. Well, welcome back. Um, I just want to make a quick video about my HRT update. It's been one month or exactly 30 days from today that I've been on HRT. And that's hormone replacement therapy. That's my medical transition. And I've been taking two milligrams of estradiol or estrogen. Uh, I still don't know what it's called. Uh, two milligrams in the morning and at night. And I've noticed some changes after like 30 days. Like stuff is happening and it's nuts. Like basically, um, when I first started taking them, I don't know if this is like the placebo effect, but like I woke up slightly happier. Like I was looking forward to like my day. I wasn't like super grouchy in the morning or whatever. And then like each morning from there on, I've been a little bit more happier because I feel like I'm making progress and and what I want to be making progress in, you know? Um, some other like like more, I don't want to say inappropriate stuff, more intimate stuff is I am having a little bit more boob growth. Like there is a lump now. I've heard a lot of other trans girls saying that there's like um, like a bud sprouting, which is super creepy, or like a ball, which is a, I don't know. But like my boobs have a little bit of a lump. It's like soft. It's definitely growing. It's not sensitive yet. That's another thing that I've noticed a lot of other trans girls experience within the first month that it's super sensitive. For me, it's not that sensitive, and I already had some boob to work with, but now I can kind of feel like a lump behind it. I don't know who else had that has no like uh, sensitivity to that, but I feel like I'm the first one for some reason. But I already had boobs to begin with, so I think it's a little bit weird. I can't really show you what that lump looks like, but I would say it's like really small under the skin. Uh, but it's really soft. It's not like a marble, but it's you can kind of get the shape of it as kind of a marble. Uh, that's the best way I can describe it. Um, Another thing that I've been working on the last 30 days is waist training. So I constantly have like a corset on during the day and then when I'm sleeping. So I can kind of have like a waist and it has been helping. And also my diet on top of that. So for my physical body, there's definitely like a change on my waist. Like I actually have a waist now, which is nuts. I don't think that's the hormones, but it's progress of stuff that I'm working on. And another thing that's different from me that I, other trans girls do experience is like softer skin. For me, my skin is kind of the same. It's always been normal. <laughs> I don't know how else to compare it. It doesn't feel softer by any means. I have been trying to use like more lotion and I've been taking like fish oil pills for my skin and hair, but I don't know if that actually does anything. I would say it does feel a little bit better, but I don't know if it's because of the other things that I'm working on that's affecting that as well, because I've only been on HRT for one month. And I've been doing all this other stuff a little bit longer. So I think it might be the other stuff that's helping me out. But the kind of goals that I'm looking for with HRT is going to be like fat redistribution. Or however you say that. Like I want like a bigger butt. I want my fat to go like to my waist and all the places where like women have it. Because I have like really broad shoulders and it looks really weird if I don't have a waist, you know. So I just want like my fat redistributed. And I want less muscle because I'm really skinny. And you can, it looks like I have a six pack when I really don't. Which is super cool and everything. But I'm really like showing that I have a lot of muscles. So I kind of hope that goes away, which might. I think I need to go on like testosterone blockers, but I'm not ready for that yet. I told my doctor I want to go slow and be safe about it. So maybe that'll be like the next step is testosterone blockers. And going back to the hair and skin thing. Uh, so my hair is pretty much exactly the same. Uh, it's still the same thickness. I still grows around like the same amount of hair. Um, I don't normally grow that much hair to begin with, so I'm kind of really fortunate in that, but it's it's been the same for the last 30 days. I don't see any change at all, but hopefully that'll change too. I want like thinner hair and less hair because my hair is super thick, so less of that would be amazing. And then the last thing that I want to go over, myths, is a lot of people think HRT is going to change your height or like your bone structure. And I've done my research and a lot of people said, no, that's not going to happen. Like, you're not going to get taller. You're not going to get shorter. Because that's pretty big. You have to change your whole skeletal system. Like, holy freaking crap. That's probably not going to happen. I think maybe I can picture your hips widening a little bit. But not that drastically. And same with your shoulders. Like, a lot of people have broad shoulders. And that, that sucks for me because I have broad shoulders. But they're not going to get smaller, which is kind of okay. I kind of accepted that fact. Like I can work on a billion other things. My shoulders just can be one of those things that I can't control, but all the other things I do have control over. So I kind of accept that. So kind of a weird myth that people think bone structure is going to change. And another one is their voice. If you're on HRT, your voice is not going to change if you're going from male to female because our vocal thingies are thicker and they're not going to get thinner unless you get surgery or if you do like voice training and practice using a different voice 
that's passable and whatever, you know? That's something I really want to do, but I haven't done it yet. A lot of people tell me my voice is nice, but it could be nicer. It's not where I want it to be. But voice training is something I really want to change. That's going to change my entire life. Um, but yeah, that's kind of my updates with HRT, 30 days. I don't know if this was kind of sporadic, but that's everything that I've experienced. And I plan on doing another one in another 30 days or maybe like three months. So it'd be one month, three months, nine months. Um, and then I think that'd be a really cool pattern to follow. But yeah, thank you for listening. Bye, everybody. Bye.